Hi guys, it has been some time where, uh, that I posted an update of my Redest vacuum tube tester. Quite some things have happened in between, positive things. So I want to show you first of all my collection of sockets, socket boxes I made till now. This one is already well known. Noval, Magnoval, Octal and Mini 7. The big scepter one with the two anode possibilities. The World War II German uh, socket LG NR1678 for the most prominent tube that uses this one is the RL12P35. And now we have some new ones. I decided to make a breakout box, but there was a lot of real estate free. So I added two sockets and an external and an outlet for the uh, 12 volt, two amps internal power supply that I added in the, in the rare test. First of all, the one is the one socket is a Duotec car. It's used by the Compactron uh, kind of tubes and some horizontal uh, oscillator power tubes, like the 6JM6 and some others, and a decal, a 10-pin tube. Uh, the important thing with this box and the two decker socket is that uh, the rare test has only 10 lines for testing, means maximum 10 pins. And that's no problem with the decal because it has 10 pins, but with the duo decker with 12 pins, it's an issue. The good thing is that all these tubes have the heater at the same pins. So the heater is directly connected to the external connector, the H15 connector. Of course, it cannot be um, supervised, it cannot be monitored, but you see, you can see how much current it's drawn. And all the other ones, the, the rest of the 10 pins, are connected to the normal 10 cards, relay, car, relay cards that are inside. Additionally, some of them, some of the uh, compactrons or the compactron with a compactron uh, socket, 12 pin socket, have an external anode. For this, the pin 10 or the banana pin 10 is used. You will see that later on the video. Next one is my test socket box for the LS50 and GU50 type of tubes. The LS50 is the German original from the Second World War. It's a very power. It's it's a quite a robust and powerful uh, hexode or pentode. I don't know. Powerful tube, and the GU50, GU50 is the Russian uh, copy that they made. After that. There are so many GU50 around that uh, you can get it for up to five euros new old stock. The last one that I made is an insert box. This was quite more complicated and you see why. Here you have the connection for all the 10 pins, for the 10 lines from the, look like that. And in between, you put, it's a little bit difficult with one hand, but it's inside. So this is how it looks. The insert box comes in between the socket box, the standard socket box, and the, the receiver box. You, this can be fastened here. That. 
So the whole thing has a robustness. The good thing is now you can remove one of the bridges and put something in between. For example, what I plan is because I have the version 9 uh, Redest build, uh, I have no external banana plugs for uh, to test for microphonics to to connect an, uh, an amplifier. So what I will do is I will design an amplifier not using a transformer but a resistor and the changes of the current, the end of the current will be monitored and will be converted to audio signals with an um, amplifier that I have behind that. The whole thing is, of course, will be isolated, but optically isolated, no transformers. But this is a, a project for another video. One-handed thing is quite complicated. Just wanted to show you the insert box, how it looks inside. This is the connection box. Was, this was quite fiddly. Of course, it's, everything is open. Anybody that wanted to make it more safe can put a PCB on it or something else. In my opinion, if you're dealing with tubes and high voltages, you have to know what you, what you do. Otherwise, leave, t leave your hands from that. Don't even use it. It should be remembered that uh, back in the day when TVs and radios used tubes, everything was exposed. So the people had, were more cautious and knew what they were dealing. Making these things over safe or hopefully over safe makes the people not cautious enough. And then accidents happened. So for me, it is as it is okay. I have no problems with that. I'm dealing with high voltages since my 13th year of age. So this is how it looks, and this is how it looks closed. Now we will test some compactrons and some other tubes with a duodecker socket. For example, this 6GM6, it's, uh, it's not an A version. This one has an external anode, and for that the pin 10 the, from the breakout box will be used. As I uh, said before, the heater is connected directly and is not monitored because it's always at the same pins with the compact trans. Okay, started testing. You can see the current is rising should go up to 65 milliamps. We are already higher than that because this is a brand new tube. Never used, very nice one. Okay, soon the auto start will fire. Okay, did. See the testing, testing procedure of the 6GM6. This is an horizontal oscillator, horizontal amplifier for old TV sets. Got a lot of testing. And we finished. It's a very nice tube. It's over 100% and not gassy. Now, a real Compactron. It's a 6C10. It's a triple, triple triode. 
if you think these were the ICs of that time, the first integrated circuits, or they tried to make them like ICs at that time. This is the next one. And testing the 6C10 C10 at 250 volts. It's a triple triode. Again, the IC integrated circuit of way back the time. Interesting. Anode current is rising. It should be 1.2 milliamps. We are way over that. This is a very nice tube. New old stock, never used. And the second. And now soon the third triode will be tested. Making a static test to see how the vacuum is, if the tube is gassy or not. And now soon we will see it. And finished. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Ever, all triodes above 100% way over that way over the 1.2 milliamps that the tube is specified the anode current and perfect not gassy and last but not least a brand new sylvania 6j11 that's a tool pentode you see the two sections how they are heated And the testing procedure. Are, the anode current is specified in datasheet 11 milliamps. We are, we are already way above that, so it's perfect tube. Again, a static test to see if the tube is gassy or not. Okay, soon the auto start will kick in. The anode current is more or less stabilizing. You see that here, the count on 3, 2, 1, 0, ignition. Oop, that was it. Now the first pentode is being tested. Assuming that the anode current has stabilized. A lot of testing. Same with the second system, the second pentode. You see the first pentode already is at 117%, way over the 100% specified in the data sheet. By the way, I'm using for Duo Decar this crappy socket. This is a Chinese ceramic socket, but it's extremely crappy. It is very dangerous to use these sockets. Probably they can, they, they are not aligning the, 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 the pins of, of the tube correctly. This will be changed with this beautiful new, it's not a NOS, it's a used socket, a Japanese socket from an old TV. Beware of these crappy sockets, these Chinese crappy sockets. This is really crap. As you can see here, again, I'm using a, for a decal, I'm using a used one. Or this one is, is, is a new old stock. These are really crappy. Yeah, I have enough from that socket. I'm going to change it now. This piece of crap, I'm using this one. This is an used one, a nice one. But now we have the opportunity to see how this thing looks inside. The 
terminal points are soldered with massive wires and here you can see the back and the, everything else. I just changed this cheap but good looking Chinese socket. Look how they are moving. Look. Cannot show you that. This is a piece of crap, even if it looks good. This one is far, far, far superior. This is the ones that were used back in the day in the TV sets or whatever. So beware of these things. Look beautiful. The three heaters of each of the three triodes. Nice. The new socket. So that was it for today. There are quite I plan a lot of more, a lot more uh, combination socket boxes and standalone socket boxes, depending on the on the size of the socket. For example, for a GU81, you can put only one socket on this 10 by 10 design I made. Okay, see you guys. Cheers.